Hey folks, Alan Manick, the Hot Rod Hippie here. Today's video is a quick holiday gift buying guide for those folks in your life who might be interested in tools, auto restoration, do-it-yourself stuff. I've got five items all under $100 to tell you about. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with the Streamlight Stylus Pro Light. This little pen light runs on AAA batteries, so they're easy to find batteries for it. It's a handy, compact little thing, fits in your pocket, so it's great for getting into tighter spots underneath dashes in cars, in engine bays, or maybe under your sink at your house. It's a really handy little light to keep around. The standard black version here goes for about $18 on Amazon, so it's quite affordable. Now, there are a lot of cheaper lights out there, but I'm telling you, this is a really high quality light. It has a limited lifetime warranty, so they really stand behind these products and they take care of them. I've owned a few of these over the years and the switch has gone bad on one or two of them, but I send it in to Streamlight, they replace it free of charge. And that is really important, they stand behind their product. Sky produces about 90 lumens of light and it comes a little holster for it, put on your belt, so it is a handy little light for 18 bucks. There are some other different color ones, blue, red, camouflage, also available. You'll find the link for this down in the description. Next product I want to talk about is the Nipex Cobra pliers. These pliers are really, really handy pliers. Whenever I tell anybody about these, they generally say, so what, they're channel locks, that's not that impressive. You have not used these if that's what you say. The standard Cobra pliers, the 10 inch version is what I find to be the most versatile and most handy for all around uses, have multiple features that make them stand out. They have reverse cut teeth in the jaws. That means that when they grab on, they function much like a monkey wrench, like a pipe wrench. They will bite in and grip. So if you, you can use these for installing plumbing, you can use it for grabbing onto pipes, hoses on a car, and turn them and really grip into them, bite into them, and they're not going to let loose. You can even, once they get a bite, just push on them. You don't need to squeeze them and they will continue to bite in and work on their own. These are a really high quality, made in Germany tool. They are, without a doubt, the best pliers I have ever used. I cannot recommend these enough. They go for just over $31 on Amazon. I really recommend them. Pick them up. Even if you hand them to somebody and they say, so what, they're a pair of pliers, tell them to use them. I promise you, they will be impressed. Next up is the Bosch Crossline Laser Level. This is a really handy thing for maybe putting up a picture on a wall, putting a shelf up. On a car, you could use it to check a body line. Maybe you look down the side of a car and it sure looks like that body line's a little out of whack when you're doing body work or you're hanging a new quarter panel on there. You can use this to draw a line and better visualize what's going on. I picked one of these up recently. They're on sale right now at Home Depot for about $39.95. So they're really affordable compared to a lot of the other laser, laser levels on the market. Overall, this is a really handy tool. It's not the greatest one on the market. There are $300, $200 ones that are gonna work better. This one's not quite as bright as some of the other ones. It doesn't come with a stand, but it does come with a little grip that will grab onto say a pole or your own stand you wanna make. And it does use a standard quarter 20 thread in it. So you can actually pick up a cheap tripod from any local camera shop and it would work with this. That's a really handy little thing. A lot of these stores are selling tripods for these that are basically nothing more than a camera tripod and they're selling them for like 50, 60 bucks. You can go to Walmart and get a $15 tripod for a camera that will work just fine with this thing. So you can go ahead and pick this up. Like I said, at Home Depot, it's about $39.95. On Amazon, I'll throw you the link down in the description. It's going for about 20 bucks more than that there. So Home Depot must have bought a lot of these to have a really good sale. Next up is the Porter Cable Restorer. This is a really handy tool for woodworking projects, restoration projects, cars, and a lot of do-it-yourself stuff around the house. This can really come in handy. If you're trying to maybe create that old antique wood look, that worn down look, get one of the stainless steel drums, put this in there to remove that wood pulp. If you're trying to remove bodywork off of a car, you can take one of these black non-woven drums and really strip that off of there quick and easy. It's great for removing rust off of frames. This thing is a really versatile tool for a lot of uses. I did a whole review of this and I put it up against the Contour SCT from Eastwood. You can check that out in one of my other videos. But I do recommend this thing. Comes in at just $99 for the kit on Amazon. So I really recommend checking this out for the do-it-yourselfer in your life. Last but not least is a bit of a joke, but put this in a, as a stocking stuffer and folks are gonna enjoy it. It's 10 millimeter sockets. 
pick up a three eighths inch drive, a quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, throw it into that mechanic's stocking on Christmas morning or pack it up as a gift for them, whatever, they're gonna enjoy it. It's, it's kind of a running joke on the internet that 10 millimeter sockets are the most commonly lost ones and they're also a very commonly used one. Almost all cars nowadays have 10 millimeter bolt heads in them. They're really important. You need that socket, you lose it, you're up a creek without a paddle. So pick up one, pick up a dozen. Even if you pick up a Snap-on, a Matco one, a high quality socket, it's still only gonna be 10, 12 bucks. If you pick up some really cheap off-brand ones, it'll be maybe a dollar. So pick up a dozen of them, throw them in a Christmas stocking, folks are gonna enjoy it. All right, folks, thanks for coming around. I hope you found this video informative. You drop it a like if you did. Let us know in the comments down below. Maybe you have some ideas from other gifts that folks could be picking up for so affordable end of things for the do-it-yourselfers, the mechanics, the auto restorers and auto enthusiasts in their life. Thanks for coming around. Have a good one.